New at 6 o'clock, crews are working to figure out what caused flames to spark in a vacant warehouse. The crews were called to the 600 block of Kaiser Street this morning. We spoke with a neighbor who says the property is actually a nuisance, and she says she recalls another fire that broke out there, and she wants the building knocked down. So that means we started asking about the problem of vacant properties in the Miami Valley. Jordan Burgess is getting answers about what it will take to knock them down. Buildings like this one are on the list to be torn down in Dayton, but this is just one of thousands of vacant properties, so we're asking what it'll take to demolish them all. Firefighters finish off the flames at this empty warehouse, another of the more than 50 vacant fires they'll put out this year. Why is it so important to get these properties down? Well, vacant properties um, cause a drain on all the other resources that you have in the city. But tearing down empty buildings like this former car wash also takes resources. We found it costs about $11,000 on average to demolish a vacant home, and the process can take six to nine months because of the paperwork involved. Even if the property owner happens to be deceased and has no other relatives, we still have to follow our rules and regulations and the state's rules and regulations. Dayton tore down a record number of properties last year, nearly 650, thanks in large part to state grant money that's now run out. Some extra federal grant money is on the way, but the strings attached to it will slow the process for using it. We started those a couple months ago, putting the paperwork through, so that when the funding does come through, we're ready to start taking those down. With an estimated 6,500 vacant properties in Dayton alone, the problem can seem as large as the hole left in this car wash by a vehicle. We wanted to know what it will take for the area to get the vacant issue under control. There is an end to it. We have to continue to keep on each year taking down a certain amount of properties and eventually uh, we'll have the majority of the problem down. And city officials hope to be able to start tearing down homes with some of that federal money in the next couple months. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.